Yep. Yeah. So basically, like a lot of times, what I learned with the VA is you want to build a case. You want to have appointment. You, you know, show that you went to the doctor. Right. Or a certain thing. So they want to see. They don't want real you know, just, Yeah. If you just apply, say, oh, you know, my foot is sore. You know, it looks better if you know you didn't went. You didn't have appointments. You know, they seen you. You know, regarding your foot. Right. You got to go. They want to see that you repeatedly went. Like if you mm -hmm. got acid reflux. Which they don't normally give it to get that to you, but if, if you could show that it's real current and uh being in the military, it actually got worse. Mm -hmm. And you go do the right test, like a lot of vets, they don't know this though. If you're trying to apply for something like a esophagus disorder, stomach disorder, you gotta go have an endo done. Mm -hmm. Where they stick that thing down your throat and mm -hmm. look inside you and stuff like that, that's gonna help you definitely make your case a lot stronger because if they find something like if you got damage from your esophagus you got stomach ulcers then you're gonna get it they're not gonna fight you on that yeah so yeah yeah man like it's been a long time since i seen you doug i mean oh, yeah. it's been yeah. over 20 years huh? <laughs> time flies man yeah like i said yeah. last because i was stationed in jacks before katrina hit because i transferred to pittsburgh and uh -huh. at that time, when I was stationed in Jacksonville, the recruiter, I mean, the detailer came and I was married at the time to um, another um, Navy individual. And the recruiter says, the only place I have for you guys to go is mm -hmm. New Orleans. So mm -hmm. if I didn't get divorced, I would have wound up in New Orleans okay. after I left Jacksonville. So, yeah, I got divorced, not because of that. But mm -hmm. if it wasn't for that divorce, yeah, I'd have been in New Orleans when Katrina hit. But. I want mm -hmm. you know getting divorced. You got love, yeah, yeah. I got stationed in Pittsburgh back home, yeah. If I'm not yeah, mistaken, remember, um, my, um, my ex, she wound up getting stationed there in okay. in New Orleans around that time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember one time I was with Coop, and I think I think he called you or something. That was in Memphis, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know if you remember. I think I spoke with you. I I might have told Coop, "Hey, tell him." I said, "What's up?" But yeah, I was at his house then in Memphis. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, man. <laughs> Time yeah. flies. Who else was the, the, the orange? I still keep in touch with orange. Who else? Uh, Dibbles. Uh, you keep in contact. Dibbles. With Every now and then, I'll talk to Dibbles. You know, Dibbles is little. He a little different than the rest of us. <laughs> right. Right. I actually, I actually sent something out to him. I think it was on LinkedIn or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I think he responded to me. That was like a few years ago. Yeah. But yeah, you can find a lot of people out on LinkedIn or Facebook, man, and yeah. reach out to them. Yeah. So that's cool, man. This the Facebook and all this stuff is definitely a benefit and a plus for us. So on my um, I actually recently did a story. I, I edited. It. I haven't put it out yet, but I'm going to. I don't know if you remember the young lady that worked in my office. I don't want to say her name, but she got arrested. I don't know if you remember. She got arrested about gun charges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you, you remember, remember that story? Well. Yeah, so I can't think of a name right off the bat. I know her name, but you know, I don't want to put that out there right yeah. now. But um, do you remember like anything different? Because what I remember is the story that I was told that she was buying guns for ex, you know, it was a boyfriend at the time, right? And I guess he was selling them. That's the story, yeah. kind of what I heard. She from from straight from her mouth. I actually talked to her about it. It was like yeah. uh it was like her boyfriend, she had said that like this happened years ago. Like I think yeah. she said it was about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden they came and tracked her down mm -hmm. and it was her boyfriend and she claimed she didn't have nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, cause, cause I remember she was, trying, she was trying to like get people to vouch for her and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The right recommendation saying that she's, you know, she's an outstanding sailor and stuff like that. Yeah, she was, she had just got promoted she had just got her degree and she had just got married. That, yep. That's what was the crazy. All three of those things that just happened like right before that. Right. And I remember because me and her worked in the same office and me, me and her yeah. would go. We went to the club a couple of times, me, her and our orange. We, we went out together. We would hang, you know, since she was cool. Like was she say, Haitian? Or, she was Haitian. Or Jamaican, Jamaican, she was Jamaican, like Jamaican, Jamaican, yeah. Jamaican. Yeah. yeah. She, all these good things would happen. And all of a sudden I go to lunch one day to go play basketball. I come back. Yeah. They're like, she, I she ain't coming that. back. I'm like, what do you mean she ain't coming back? It was like, yep. ATF came. I'm like, Whoa. yeah, I don't know that. yeah, yeah, man, that, that was that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yep. I, I couldn't believe that, man, because I thought it was weird too. Because 
this happened at least a minimum of six to ten years prior right. prior to you know this situation so i don't yeah, yeah. i don't know what happened but it was something else happened too it was this one of our corpsmen he was a first class mm -hmm. and he took his wife prescription and uh mm -hmm. they end up kicking him out he had like 16 something about 16 years in yeah i i keep in touch with him and um yeah. did he ever yeah. i know i know he went he probably went to congress i know i would have i mm -hmm. wonder how that turned out for him yeah I, you know i never spoke to him about that but you we text um still from time okay. to time but um i don't know if you remember the chief i had that worked in the office with me he um him and her was supposedly like he said this is this is where he he felt disappointed he asked her to um you know maybe do you know on his behalf speak on his behalf and she refused you talking about the port the hispanic chief uh the, the no the she was chief. um she was a white lady a little short lady yeah i remember i can't i think it's, I think it started I, with him Puerto Rican once. oh no, i think i went i think i used to work with her in uh was it memphis orlando I think I, mm -hmm. I think I remember who you're talking about. I can't remember her name, mm -hmm. but short. She was a little short lady. 